Welcome back to the channel. Gonna be testing out the Torque TC500 controller today. Got a stock 32 AH battery, a 38 AH, a high power 60 volt, and a 72 volt EBMX 42 AH. Gonna test out all the batteries. 32 AH, run like 7 kilowatts, no bypass. 38 can run up to 8.5 kilowatts. No bypass. The high power 60 can run 13 kilowatts. And the 72 can run 17 kilowatts. Alright, first I'm going to put the 32 AH in the bike. Alright, got my mate's phone here. Going to show you how to tune the bike with the 32AH battery. Pretty simple settings on this app. Quick and easy. Just connect into the bike now, just turn it on. Alright, so you go to stock battery. Choose if it's a bypass, 60 volt, 72 volt, or a custom battery. I'm going to choose stock because it hasn't got a bypass. Alright, then we can go all the way up. So 120 amps. This is with the 32 AH battery. That is 7.3 kilowatts. And then we can also adjust the throttle settings and lots of other settings. With the top screen, there's only two modes at the moment. You've got eco mode and the sport mode. You can also use that with a stock side on screen. You can adjust these to exactly how you want them. Got throttle settings, curve, regen settings, dead zone, brake, le safe, brake lever response. Just safe, click, click, click of a button and then it's saved. Alright, jump on the bike, go test that out. Alright, a little off the line test with the 32 AH battery. Go on then, send it. definitely quicker off the line than stock big difference there i'm right, gonna put the 38 ah battery in next should be able to get nice top speed and nice torque out of this since it can go to 8.5 kilowatts with no bypass quickly pull the app out Once the 38AH is plugged in the bike, it gives you a little bit more to play with. Up to 140 amps, 8.6 kilowatts, no bypass on that battery. Let's test that out. Go on. Oh, that front wheel is not staying down. Next, putting the 60 volt high power battery in. After a little wiggle, got that in. Right, quickly, got to change the settings to 60 volt, and then we can go all the way up to. 13.6 kilowatts.
72 volt 42 AH. <laughs> Connect to the controller again, and then all you got to do is change the battery settings to 72 volt, and then you can change the amps all the way up to 200 and something. That was you got to wait for it to load, I think. But that's 17, 17 kilowatts. kilowatts. Okay.